Live exemplarily, love authentically, and lead relationally. This is the Inspired Family Leader Program with Samuel E. Bakutana, your host, a certified executive coach, an award-winning leadership consultant, the global speaker and author of 17 books, including Blossom in Your Job and Business. I am the CEO of Inspired Leaders International, an international leadership development firm that seeks to empower leaders who transform nations. I am your president, the national president of the Fathers Union. And today, in this Inspired Family Leader program, we want to talk about a critical aspect of finance, a very important issue of money, specifically dealing with how we can escape the traps of debt. Many people are in debt. Many people are burdened by debt. We have, talked, we have talked with many men, many family leaders, and we realize that many people are languishing in a vicious cycle of debt. And today, we want to talk about how you can get out of the traps, and the ditch, and the pit, and the valley <laughs> of debt. And to talk about that with me in studio is none other than somebody that has been here before on this program. My brother, a fellow husband, a fellow man, fellow father, fellow leader, a leadership developer, a personal financial literacy coach, Mr. Ronald Edward Mukasa. Ronald, you're very welcome. Thank you so much. How Glad are you doing? Me. I'm excited to be here. Good to see you again. Yeah, me too. Me the last too, time we too. were here, you, mm. you were, let me use the word speeding, you were speeding eating nuggets of wisdom one after another about finances. And I'm excited <laughs> to be back. And I'm we said you back. need to be back and we talk about a few more details. Totally excited. Yeah. So if you don't mind, please go ahead and introduce yourself to yeah. our viewers in yeah. case you would like to add something more about yeah. family, about work, mm. etc. Great. Uh, mm. Thank you so much, Samuel, for the opportunity again uh, to be here. I want to thank everyone who has joined us uh, this uh, evening to discuss about money, to discuss about personal finance. Uh, my name is Ronald Mokasa, as I've been introduced. I work with an organization called Enterprise Uganda, where I lead research, innovation, and learning. I also work as a financial literacy coach, uh, giving uh, support on, uh, on personal finance. I'm a father, I'm a husband, and uh, I'm also honored to be one of the people who can say that with Samuel Wetwazi Runda. Uh, <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Especially for my Australian yes, viewers, yes, what yes, does yes, that yes, mean? Uh, we, have, we come a long way. We come a long way. We come a long way. That's true. Yes, I yes. remember I first met you, if, I, if my memory serves me right, yes. I remember I first met you in September 2005. Yes, I think you have given away our age. Yeah. <laughs> but we haven't told you yes, what yes. we were doing during that well, uh, Certainly we are not children, we are not babies, <laughs> but yeah, but it's yes. been a while uh, and, and, and we celebrate the work which you do. Yeah, and, uh, these are, oh, by the way, 18 years. 18 years. We got to meet each exactly, other. Can you exactly, exactly, exactly. Wow. Time does fly, time Indeed does fly. It does. Mm. So you're very welcome to this program. Mm. And today we are talking about escaping the traps of debt. Mm. Now, to begin with, mm. some people feel that it is totally impossible, impossible to live debt free. Yeah. What do you say about that as we start this program today? Yeah, I think, I think debt is one of the aspects of uh, personal finance which no one ever prepares you for. Mm -hmm. It's very rare to, for your father to sit with a son and say, one of these days you may take a loan. <laughs> uh, it is a very unusual conversation. They only so, tell you that one of these days you may have a quarrel with your wife. You may have a quarrel with your wife. They won't tell you the cause. But they won't tell you to take a loan. And uh, we have to notice that many times that we start feeling the true weight of debt mm -hmm. when we are already in it. Very few people do have an opportunity to look at debt from the outside. Because mm -hmm. the best time to manage debt is before <laughs> you get it. After you get it, it's no. A, say that again. The, the best time to manage, manage debt, debt is before is you before get before you get into it. Exactly, exactly. Before exactly. you sign a loan from the bank, <laughs> you have to say mm -hmm. that's the time you have an opportunity to say I'll do it for eighteen months or for twenty months. Mm -hmm. uh, but after you get into it, you are already locked in, yes, and uh, yes. then things start coming at you. So I think it's very important to notice, and for the for the for the friends who are watching. 
if 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 you have the privilege mm. of not being in debt currently mm. you need to appreciate that it, before you get into debt you need to understand that it is a very big responsibility mm. debt is a very big responsibility uh, the, uh, the, the 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 bible has very few no kind words for for debt i mean i, I know one of them that say that a, a borrower is a slave to the lender to the end of proverbs 22 7 uh, yeah. he, the moment you borrow a master slave relationship is 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 is, is created mm -hmm. and that master slave relationship argues that the borrower is slave mm. to the lender now what that means is that every time you take a loan mm. you are presenting yourself as a slave to the person who is going to lend to you i think that's, that's why uh, that's why um, these people they these people who who lend money the money lenders i think yes. that's why they have a lot of power no you, and they you, act you, with a lot and, of and, and they yeah? understand they understand they understand <laughs> that when when you get a call from them you'll stop whatever you are doing yes and you look at your phone to be sure that it's them who are calling mm. then things will start running into your mind what you're going to tell them but the point is that it's very important before you get into debt to understand the responsibility that comes with debt mm -hmm. because that responsibility there are few things which are not in your power mm -hmm. for example when you borrow money mm -hmm. the, 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 after you have borrowed the interest rate is not in your power you it's can't not. change it after you have borrowed of course so that by the way i think 10 percent is too high i think it should have been eight mm -hmm. that discussion happens before you get into debt mm -hmm. uh you, you you can't control the circumstances mm -hmm. i mean you could take a loan and you have a stable job and when the job goes away then you notice that a repayment of eight hundred thousand shillings per mm -hmm. month mm -hmm. is actually a big repayment it's if big. you don't have your paycheck yep. so there are many things which are uncertain when the loan has been taken so the first message when it comes to debt is to appreciate mm. the, responsibility the responsibility that it comes with yes and that appreciation and uh, when you read the scriptures they're clear that it is it is something which you should walk into so carefully and probably slowly it, uh, so slowly and best case scenario you don't even get there if you if you don't have to and you notice that most of us don't notice that the first loans we take mm. are not even from financial institutions mm -hmm. i find somewhere we are workmates here yeah. at family tv says mm -hmm. someone do you have some quicker hundred mm -hmm. i'll pay you next week mm -hmm. now when i ask samuel for a hundred thousand shillings and mm -hmm. he gives it to me and i say i will pay next week mm -hmm. at that moment in a way we haven't signed any document yes but i have gone into a debt position yeah it's a because contract it's, it's a, a contract it's an unwritten contract exactly and it's, it's it is it is underwritten by trust mm -hmm. the fact that samuel is my good friend we've mm -hmm. known each other for a long time when he, i ask him for hundred thousand shillings mm -hmm. he believes that ronald will actually pay it, it is signed with a pen of integrity aha uh -huh. and those debts are actually the most painful ones the ones we borrow from our fathers our mothers our <laughs> sisters our churchmates our colleagues at work those debts they have no document they don't. written but they are also the least respected mm -hmm. that means that i can't believe that someone wouldn't believe that ronald who he has known for over 15 yeah. years yeah would go away with these 100,000. Somebody in a way, went away with some thousands of mine in yes. 2013 up to now he has not yet paid. Yes, and, and he's, he's alive. Years. And he's alive. And we meet. Yes, we meet yes, again yes. and again. Exactly. And the point is that what that does is that we have got the relationship which we have me and you mm. and i have put a price to it we have compromised it and i say i can lose this friendship at a hundred thousand oh, no. and that's the pain because it's different with the bank where it is a signed contract but when you borrow from friends and mm. actually tell people that uh, the moment you ask someone some of us even go to our parents mm. and you tell your father uh, lend me mm. two hundred thousand shillings mm. And you actually say lend mm -hmm. in your in our local languages the word lend is not confused with give no the, the two words are, are distinct we're not talking about a, a philanthropic <laughs> donation exactly here. you're not saying you give me some money you're saying lend me some money mm. now what that means is that the moment you say lend me yeah your father is very surprised when you come you back three back. years later and you seem to have forgotten mm -hmm. you start hearing yourself mentioned in speeches you know in mm -hmm. some cultures when your father <laughs> wants to talk to you in, during a speech he just yeah. starts saying young people nowadays they don't keep their word but he's, really, he's you are, talking you, about you his are the son. example you are he's talking about you are the reason why why he's having a problem oh, so no. uh, seated in there is really one of the fundamental challenges mm. it's to appreciate that be it that you have said 
I have borrowed from someone be mm. based on trust, mm. be it it's a signed contract as it would be mm. in, a, in a bank arrangement, you need to respect okay. that, 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 that decision. So, two things I'm hearing. One, the best time to manage debt mm. is before you get into debt. Exactly. The way, the best time to erect a lightning conductor mm. on your on top of your house mm. is before lightning comes. Exactly. exactly. When it's coming, you don't say, <laughs> you don't say oh, thunder is coming, lightning. Give me my lightning yeah. conductor I put exactly. on top of my house. Exactly. It's too late. Yes, 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 yes. And the second thing I'm hearing is that debt is something that comes with a huge responsibility. Exactly. So we shouldn't just get into it as if it's a light thing, mm -hmm. as if it's a simple thing, mm -hmm. and it's a thing we are getting into. It mm -hmm. comes with a huge responsibility exactly. that puts us in a place of obligatory duty, exactly. not a place of, you know, pleasurable delight. Yes. So, what causes many people mm. to actually get into debt? Especially, yes. let's talk to the mm. family leaders. Yes. I, I, Men, I, yes. what gets people into debt? I think if, 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 if you're a father, you're a leader of a family, um, and I mean even a mother, mm. the, 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 there are two things basically which get people into debt. Mm -hmm. There is the need of today. The need of today. Uh, I have come home and uh, my wife has reminded me that it is two days to the payment of school fees mm -hmm. and I haven't organized the school fees. During those two days, the pain of that need, mm. the pain of that need will cause me to say, possibly let me go to my circle and I borrow. Possibly let me go to a bank and borrow. Possibly let me go to my brother and I borrow. Why? Because the need is urgent. Mm -hmm. I have reached a point where actually I feel like I can't, there's nothing I can do about it. But you also have to notice that the word used there is need. Mm -hmm. Because also wants have mm -hmm. capacity to cause us to borrow. I so for feel example, like many people are the ones that uh, the wants yes. are the ones pushing many people. And into separating debt. the wants from the needs is very complex. It is it it's sometimes you may find that you have borrowed, but you could have gone without it. Mm -hmm. But also wants have a capacity to they there is a way debt takes away pain. So for example, mm -hmm. uh, the, the 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 birthday party of your daughter is coming. The daughter is turning 10. How you haven't you know? celebrated. <laughs> because it's next month. It is next month. Eh? <laughs> 9th of July. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So the, the, the birthday party is coming. Yeah. You, you haven't organized anything for her as a family. You say we should do something nice for her. Mm. And in that moment, uh, the, someone ri rings you and says, but uh, Samuel, mm. you can get 2 million yeah. by just clicking yes. Mm. Some banks nowadays, they tell you all you need to do is click yes. Mm. Just click that button, yes. Uh, these uh, loans which you get on mobile money, you just, you just say, yes, I want the money. Mm. And so at that point, you say, actually, I didn't know that my mobile money can give me 500. Mm. You say, let me receive it. But you notice that this thing has been, is starting to look like a need, but yeah. actually it is a want. It's, a it's want. something which you want. It's so you want. need to make sure that you separate the two. Mm. But the, the classic thing about be it needs, be they, be they wants, yeah is that when you take the loan, whatever you have taken the loan for has no capacity to repay the loan. Say that again. Whatever you have taken the loan for has no capacity mm -hmm. to repay the loan. Mm -hmm. So uh, if I take the loan for the birthday party of my daughter, <laughs> after I can't go and my daughter and say, by the way, no, that money which you enjoyed, yeah, it was uh, alone, unless man. the guests bring them any gifts. <laughs> uh, unless you say, let me to the gifts. <laughs> but, but, but that's unlikely. Uh, Even though I pay school fees for my child, I can't yeah. go to next time to the school and say, you know what, you boy, mm. it's your school fees yeah, which yeah, I paid. Bring it back. So I need you to organize yourself. Mm. That is something which won't happen. Mm. So be they once be they needs, you can't. Mm. So there is a second form of debt, which is the second group. Now, before you get to that mm. second one, yes. I am tempted to think mm. that this that you have called the need of today mm. or the pain of the need of today, uh -huh. whereas it could be caused by some unforeseen circumstances yes. like the loss of a job, an yes. instant loss of a job, mm. or whatever it can be. If somebody is a farmer who is mm. watching us now, mm. the yield did not come out well exactly. in the season. Sure. Whereas that is true that there could be unforeseen circumstances, mm. I think the need of today can also come from lack of planning. Exactly. Exactly. If we are talking about, mm. God bless your, mm. your wife Brenda. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> if we are talking about Brenda, mm. 
uh, allow me use yes, as an yes. example. I could as well mm. use charity my wife yes. or any other mm. or the girlfriend to my mm. brother in studio here. Yeah. <laughs> who is laughing mm. <laughs> if brenda is ex is an expectant mother mm. just as an example exactly this is not something we don't know how long it will uh, take you can't be shocked Brent, after nine no months. Mm. it even keeps updating you outwardly exactly so that you are not you don't exactly. forget yeah it doesn't update inwardly exactly it updates you outwardly, outwardly yes. and then on the very dot you see a somebody run to the accounts department, run to the finance office, yeah. panting like a hunting dog. Yes. Help me. Salary advance. Yeah. What's the problem? My wife is in labor. Yeah. Really? After nine months? Exactly. So there could be some unforeseen circumstances that yeah. may push people into debt due to mm. the need of today. Yeah. But I think a big part of it is lack of planning. You, have, you put it rightly because, the, I mean, an entire industry has even been built around planning for things which may happen without you knowing. Mm. Flying for unforeseen circumstances. When you look at the entire insurance industry, mm, that's what it the is industry's about. fundamental job is to say that, by the way, do you know that one of these days mm. uh, a, a border border man may crash into your light and crack your car mm. light? Mm. So why don't you have comprehensive insurance? Mm. So that when they crack your light, mm -hmm. at least you have a bit of money because yeah. you may not have that 200,000 which is needed. Mm. Then someone says, but then you know that one of your children may get sick. Mm. That's why you have health insurance. Yeah. So that when they get sick. So that, that when you talk about planning, you can mm. actually stretch it because there are institutions which have been set, put in place mm -hmm. to help, help with that planning process. And uh, I mean, when you look at the insurance penetration of the country, it's quite low. And, yeah. uh, and, and it's a sign that all of us are living hoping that when I get into trouble, I'll come to my brother somewhere and say, by the way, do you know? Mm. You know, in most of our cultures, you, 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 where, where the, the word father is very open. It's very so your open. Your brother's children are your father. We were father. talking about it this morning yes, yes, at yes. home. Yeah. We realized that, for example, in my culture, mm. where I come from, mm. everybody, we, we were accounting and we realized mm. that by the way the culture system is designed, yes. everybody is supposed to have a minimum mm. of 10 people yes. that are in the position of father and mother. Exactly. Let me tell them to you very yes, briefly. Yes. So we have one we call Tata. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. Tata. So yes. that is my exact father. Yes. That's father number one. Yes. Then you have father number two, Tatento. Yes. My, my, my younger father, yes, yes, who, who yes, is yes. now the brother to my, my father. Exactly. Then you have Tatenkuru. Yes. That's now my father, who is the oldest. So yes. my grandfather yes. is in a position of my father. Yes. Then you have Tata and Kazi, yes. Taten Kazi, yes. who is now my aunt. Yes. So now, when you are talking about the fathers, mm. you have those four. Yes that are culturally given the position of a father. Exactly. Three men mm. and one lady yes. in the position of father. Yes. On the side of mom, same thing. Yes. Mawe, yes. my mother. Yes. Mawento, yes. my younger mother, yes. who is now the sister to my mother. Yes. Mawenkuru, my, my older mother, yes. who is now my grandmother. Exactly. And then uh, uh, Mawento. And, uh, you know, uh, uh, so you find that in our culture, when you say father, when you say mother, you are now talking about ten people. Exactly, exactly. So you, you and that, and and, and I think it's a, it's an it's an ex, it's a good institution because mm. it it kind of shows the shared responsibility. It we is have. an inbuilt social security. It's, it's a social security system, <laughs> but we need to understand that as the world changes, mm. and many of us have possibly witnessed this, that the solidity of mm. that structure mm. has been brought into question. That means that mm. you need to, you need to, you need to, because a lot of the time when we borrow, especially when we're against the wall, yeah. it's because an emergency has come up. Mm. And it is our responsibility as we plan for money to say, which emergencies do I anticipate? So okay. for example, school fees for next term is going to come up. Sure. It, it will come up August, it is coming. Now, whatever you do in June, whatever you do in July, <laughs> whatever you do in August, August, the school fees is coming up. Mm. So it can't be a surprise. Okay. So the need of today is cause number one yes. for why people get into debt. Yes. And cause number two? Now, the, 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 the second bit is the people get into debt because of the hope of tomorrow. <laughs> and, mm. and so so the, the, the possibilities. Mm. And, and, and here we talk about, and a good example would be, uh, I come and, uh, and Family TV gives yes. me gives me a, a, a contract mm. to supply them with ten cameras, for mm. example. Mm. Uh, so I go, I run to the bank. I say, you know what? I want a loan of five million shillings so that I can supply the cameras to. I show them the 
local purchase order which has been given to me by Family TV. Yeah. That the, the contract shows clearly it's 10 million shillings. Mm -hmm. And if I supply these cameras, they will pay me. So when I go to the bank to borrow, I'm borrowing against the hope that <laughs> Family, Family TV, TV will, will, actually buy. will pay me. And the, the fact that I'm borrowing against the hope allows me to be in a better position to, to negotiate terms which are predictable. Mm. Because I do know I will get 10 million shillings from mm. Family TV. Mm. And I do know that I'm borrowing 5 million shillings. So mm -hmm. that even though the bank says I need 10% of that money, yes. which is 5.5, .5, I am sure that if I can pay the supplier mm. some 5 and add another 2, mm. I can make a profit which I can share with the bank. Mm. Now that kind of debt is sometimes the debt which could be seen in a positive light the debt which allows you to be able to grow so a lot of business debt is mm. seated there and when you think about business debt carefully yes. it is it's in a way the financial institution partnering in you mm. with you mm. the business owner yeah. to do something bigger mm -hmm. so that you can split on the profit mm. that's really what they are doing now things don't <laughs> go don't go right sometimes they go of wrong course, of course. Uh, uh, and that's and that's and that's and that's okay but ideally at this point mm. you are saying I am expecting this money mm. and I'll be able to get now. Uh, there is some money I'm expecting. There is some money I'm expecting. <laughs> as as you can say. Proverb. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> now, you, you'll notice that the two dates are different. The need of today yes. and the hope of tomorrow. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Because the people who are borrowing against the hope of tomorrow are doing it in a circumstance where they actually at least have a plan for how they are going to pay. Mm. The people who are borrowing because of the need or the pain of today are actually against the wall and they just want to breathe again. Yeah. So debt, what it does for you is saying, you know what, instead of having too much pain right now, let me prolong my pain mm. by repaying this debt. I thought it is let me remove the pain. Uh, no, no. It you haven't removed it. You have just spread it out. Say, mm. the pain is too much right now. Yes. Let me spread it over 12 months. Mm. So that it, it hurts me slowly, slowly mm. for the next what? For the next 12 I, I, months. I die gradually. Uh, at least gradually. <laughs> so so, so that, 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 that is that, that, that's the difference. Instantly. That's the difference. And you notice that the two loans behave completely differently. That makes me yeah. want to ask, mm. after what I have just yes. heard, so is all debt bad? I think, I think you know, the, 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 there are a number of scholars who have argued that there is such a thing as good debt and mm -hmm. such a thing as bad debt. And, and both, if you look at the two forms of debt I have mm. explained, mm. you notice that there is one which is better than the other. Mm -hmm. Now, the, the, the debt which allows me to, and businesses within the city, mm. the, one of the, the, the ways financial institutions can build their economies when they push businesses to be able to grow better because sometimes businesses want to get into spaces mm. which they can't get into yeah. and that debt which is advanced for that mm. growth is good now you can certainly get a good debt and it turns into a bad one mm -hmm. because i can come and then i say i, I want money for the cameras but when i get the five million I, uh, my Family wife, TV my, cancels the yes, contract. Yes, yes, yeah. no, no. For you I mean, hope I, that's the case, but it could be that my wife tells me, but really, do you know that we haven't had a holiday for the last four years? Why don't we do something? Uh, with why this don't we do something just right now? And I said, but that's not a bad idea. Let's go. So we are off to Moya, and 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 the five million, which was supposed to do cameras has ended up in where now we have a happy family mm. but that date has become has gone from good to what mm. to bad because we diverted the debt. we moved it away from where it it was supposed to go so to in another. principle good date is one that causes growth and can repay itself exactly and bad debt is one that just gets into expenditures that won't bring any income exactly. back to pay it exactly awesome so how then do i know that i am now getting into bad debt I think there, there are a number of signs that the debt is bad. And usually mm. you know from the beginning. Mm. If someone asks you a question of how are you going to repay? Mm -hmm. And your answer <laughs> is uh, externalized. Mm -hmm. uh, we will see. The future will... Uh, we have left it to the future. <laughs> yeah, if yeah. that is your response... God is in control. Uh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> if that's the response, it is a sign that actually possibly you don't know how you are going to yeah, repay the what? Yeah. The debt. It's very important. Mm. It's very important to be able to answer the question. And it's one of the things banks... I mean, most people say I, uh, banks ask so many questions. Yeah. But they're asking you that question so that they know how you are going to repay. If 
if you have a salary, they want to know how much is it. Yeah. Will you be able to keep alive paid? and it will uh, uh, and pay the debt at the same time? That is what the bank is asking. Now, mm -hmm. sometimes we have friends who are called the money lenders. Mm -hmm. They don't ask any question. Then mm -hmm. they just say, what, what do you want the money for? And they give it to you. Mm -hmm. Now, you have to be very careful if you think someone who asks you no questions is better than the one who is asking you questions. Mm -hmm. Because it is a sign that you haven't... Because the person who asks you questions is concerned yes. about you sleeping into this thing mm -hmm. and it destroys you. Because... If there is an institution which knows the responsibility of debt, mm. it is actually the bank. Mm. It knows it. Yeah. So if you can't answer the question of how you will pay, it is a sign. Mm. If you get money for a certain purpose, and it ends up doing a different purpose. Then you know you are getting You know budget. that it is starting to get bad. And that could be even something which is noble. Mm. You got money to buy a plot of land, but you have paid school fees. School mm -hmm. fees is a noble thing. But that but was not the reason why you got the money. That isn't the reason why you got the money. And school fees is, is not going to bring in income to service this exactly. debt as quickly as possible. Exactly. According to the timelines agreed upon. And the lender, if you wanted school fees loan, you should have asked for that one. <laughs> so that they say, ah, school fees loan, you can't give that much. Have given it to me uh -huh. because he so if the loan <laughs> is changing purpose, yeah. it is a sign mm. that it is becoming uh, it's getting a bad law it's, it's 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 becoming a bad debt but you've said something that makes me want to ask mm. a question that i think somebody mm. could be thinking about mm. right now mm. if i get you talked about taking your wife for your vacation yes after you've gotten the 10 million mm. from whoever you were going mm. to supply cameras but then your wife says but honey mm. uh, uh, did we come on us to just die yes, yes, as yes, soon yes, as we yes. step on to us, just, just we, we, <laughs> <laughs> Now, when that money is taken to that vacation, yes. and you buy happiness, yes. you buy a good relationship, mm. you become rejuvenated physically, yes. whereas you have made a diversion and it has also gone into something that may not give you money instantly. Mm. Is it so bad a debt? Mm. Because it has given me some joy. I have taken my wife mm. out. We have enjoyed. Mm. I, I want you to yes. please explain to the person viewing yes. why that is really, really bad. Yeah. Yet it has given me joy and happiness. Yes. You mm. remember when we were young? Yes. You would go, I don't know which games you played mm. when you were young. Mm. But if I remember some of the games we, play, mm. we played as young people, mm. there was one called Gogori. Yes. Now Gogori. The, mm. the, the, you would get onto a steep slope yeah. and then you yeah. slide yes. downwards. Yes. Maybe on a, a banana leaf, yes. maybe yes. on I don't know what. Yes. And sometimes it would be muddy yes. on yes. those hills. Yes. And you are enjoying as a community, yes. as the children in yes. that locality. Yes. But you see, by the time you reach home in the evening, yes. Maybe part of your of your, your pants, of your pants are yes. torn. Yes. You, you have mud all over the place. Yes. You look like you were laying bricks. Yes. So your father sees you or your mother, yeah. gets you and yeah. immediately beats you. Yes. And then for you, you are confused. Mm. You are wondering, I had a good time. Yes. We played very well. Why am, Why I, am I being beaten exactly. for having good time? <laughs> so that woman you've taken yes. out and you have gotten joy. And yes. Explain why is it really bad? True. Because I enjoyed it. No, I, I mean, I mean, you certainly have got the utility out of the out of that money. You have totally enjoyed the five million, and, and there is nothing fundamentally wrong with that. Mm -hmm. but, fundamentally, but, yes. But you need to understand that, and and especially for the people in business, mm. you need to understand whose money is it. Uh -huh. One of the challenges of a business owner, we hmm. talk about this a lot in enterprise Uganda, mm. that a business owner. In as much as he's holding all the money, mm. he's holding money for many people. Mm -hmm. So a bit of the money he has is salaries of employees. Yeah. A bit of the money he has is payment to the supplier. A bit of the money he has is bank money. Operational costs. Uh -huh. Operational rent, costs. Electricity. And electricity and he has UMA's maintenance money. and security exactly. and, and water. And, and URA. He has mm. also URA's money. And KCC, trading oh, and license. KCC, yeah. and all those people. <laughs> In, when you look at the 10 million, you mm. have their money. Yeah. Now, you find you, out of the 10, you have like 400,000. Uh -huh. So if you want to take your wife out, first ask yourself, of this money, which one is mine? Which vote am I picking this money uh -huh. from? If you say, I have 1 million, then you say, possibly Mwea is not possible. Mm. But we can go to a good go, place in the And, 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 and we we'll enjoy tea. ourselves. Yes. But, but, that, but you're saying this is the one which is mine. And that's mm. what you have to understand. Mm. Now, unfortunately, us as the public, we usually say that man has money. Mm. 
because we see him receiving money for all people. Mm -hmm. When you go to a hardware and someone buys items of four million, mm -hmm. you see the man made money today. <laughs> but no, he <laughs> possibly of that four million he has made only one hundred thousand. That is mm -hmm. what is his. But he's 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 a steward mm -hmm. of that money. He's holding that money in trust. And his very workers could even be complaining that he pays them little money. Uh -huh. because, because for them they see the income, uh, yes. but don't consider the expenditure of the business. Exactly. exactly. So the moment you know this is my money, that's what mm -hmm. you should use. Mm -hmm. The moment you divert that, it creates a problem. Okay. Mm -hmm. So briefly, before I get before I get into debt, mm -hmm. what are some of the things mm -hmm. in a summary reform that I should therefore consider? So Consider For example, mm -hmm. the first thing which we mm -hmm. have agreed is mm -hmm. that did you use that loan for the mm -hmm. purpose which you so look at the purpose of the loan exactly before Se you take it exactly mm -hmm. and then as you look at the purpose look at alternatives what are the options should I borrow mm -hmm. really should mm -hmm. I borrow 10 or should I borrow 4 all that is in that purpose. or should I not borrow and at save all. for some three months for some three months before I do this because exactly. it can wait exactly mm -hmm. so that's that's one then did you do what you said you would do with yeah, it. Yeah. The moment it diverts, mm. there is a problem. Yes. And then as you do what you said you would do with it, mm. you have to ask yourself, did I plan right? Mm -hmm. Because sometimes some of us borrow money, which is not enough to mm. do what we think it we are borrowing for. Mm. So someone wants <laughs> to put up a structure, and the money you have borrowed can only get you halfway. Mm. And when it gets you halfway, a, a good example, many, many of our families, you want to build a home. Yeah. And we just tell people that when you're building a home, it helps to start with your savings and you Not allow the bank the to come in at the end. So that at least if you are if if you are roofing and finishing the house, you can enter it mm. and say at least the rent I was paying where I was can, go to can be able payment. to be. But sometimes you you find that you have a problem. You took a loan, yeah. the house has stopped at ring beam. You are still renting where you are. Then you also have to repay the what, the the the, the loan in the bank. And you yeah. find that the strain on the family has become so more. And everyone starts looking at the house and it annoys them. Because they're saying, now they built it, we did enter What was it. supposed to be a blessing what turns into a burden. It, it, becomes, it turns into a burden. Yeah, they because, resent yes. the good thing. Because every time you come home as a father, you're saying, you know what, you people, I, I, you know the truth is I received three million, mm. but two has already gone. Mm. I have to pay rent, and then I also have to pay the loan. Yeah, and yeah. the family is saying, but what did we mm. borrow for? Mm. Say, but for the house. They say, but the house is not complete. Mm. So sometimes that is the that, that is the. So what I'm hearing here is also the concept of timing exactly. when you are getting into good debt. Exactly. You, it should be timed rightly, maybe according to the stages of the project or the program you're working on why you are getting into debt, the timing, when you should get the loan, mm. whether it is at the start of building that yes. house, in the middle of building that house, or when you just want to furnish it and exactly. finish it. Exactly. Timing. And even what sizes of the loan you will mm. take. And mm -hmm. th those are all important questions. And I actually, I'll, I'll throw this in right now, that every time you are getting into debt, it is very important to have a family conversation about it. Mm. It is very important. Most times families converse about debt after that debt has been taken. Because they ask... When they have come to take the man to prison. Exactly. That's when they talk about it. Exactly. Mm. So someone keeps saying that, you know, hey, but why aren't we seeing money coming? Yeah. You remember last year, <laughs> yeah, I took some 20 million. But so you but didn't tell us. You didn't tell us. So it's a very important conversation. And I mm. think uh, the, uh, for those of us who are husbands, ladies are given the gift of assessing risk a bit better. Mm -hmm. And sometimes <laughs> that conversation with your partner will allow some of those ideas to come to come through. But will uh, ego allow me to get into now that if, conversation? Uh, now, now at wife? least at least give ego a chance to hear the other side. Because yeah, some of us look like a superman. Uh, uh, so. Sometimes they say, "No, I don't want to have this conversation because I know what my wife will say." Yeah, another but one says, "I don't trust my wife for uh, financial judgment. Exactly. She's good at many things, but this one, but I this don't know whether." Not, yes. Yeah, but have the conversation. Nonetheless, uh, have the conversation. Anyway. And I, I mean, people who have the blessing of having older children, mm. as your children go grow older, mm. they actually can participate in that conversation. Mm. You may be approaching your retirement and mm. your children are of age and mm. you, you call them up and say, you know what, I want to do this. Mm -hmm. Those conversations are important because in their absence, mm. I can tell you the optimism we have when we, and you see this in the bank, most people will sign a loan agreement without, they just ask, 
show me where I should sign. Just show yeah. me. <laughs> sign here, sign here, sign here. You don't even read yes. anything. I mean, a, an average loan agreement is looked at by three people in a mm -hmm. bank. Mm -hmm. the, the loans officer looks at it, loans the bank officer, lawyer looks bank at lawyer. it, and then usually the, 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 the committee will look at it, mm -hmm. of the, which, which is comprised, and possibly their loans committee. Yeah. Those are three people. Mm -hmm. Now, for you, you are the only one who has looked at your, your agreement, and even you, you didn't look at it. <laughs> so you find that you are surprised about every clause in the what? In the, in the, they say, but Especially at uh, the time of repayment. Yes. Say, but you people, they are, they are ripping me off. Say, but it's in the contract. Say, but how do you do this to your friend? Say, mm. but we but give you, you the contract. We give you the contract to read it. So it's very important to actually mm. appreciate mm. that. And I go back to that responsibility. So as you go into that responsibility, a council cancel with a couple of people. And your partner mm. is a very good example. Mm. Talk to them and say, should we do this as a family? Suppose your partner is the one pushing you into debt that you have discerned, that you have judged that it's not good debt. Mm. How should you balance between the firmness of a family leader when you are making a decision you believe in mm. and also the healthy politics of maintaining a good relationship with your spouse? Yeah, I think, I think, I think it is, uh, and, and, and possibly, when, when your spouse asks you for something and pushes, mm. there is a reason. Why? Why is it this important? You can go out with the girls uh, uh, yes. and say, uh, Possibly. let's get they, some two million because my fellow women are going to Nairobi, they are going to Mombasa for three days. It's yeah. a, a girl's hangout. But I don't have money, please. If you don't have money, you can get from mm. Uncle Sam. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I mean, if that's the case, possibly you can be able to push back and say, you know what, this is the yes, relationship. Yes, we can be able to push back. But sometimes your spouse is also pushing on issues like you are, you are pregnant with a third child, mm -hmm. you are in a two bedroom house, mm -hmm. the house has become small, mm -hmm. people are jumping over each other, <laughs> and he's saying we need to expand this living space. Mm -hmm. Now, the partner who is making a case for living space mm. versus the partner who wants to go to Nairobi, they actually didn't talk about different things. Mm. And both of them could push. Mm. And you need to make sure that you're finding your partner halfway. Mm. And if the communication channels are right, she will understand where you are coming from mm. as you understand where she's coming okay. from. Now, it won't be a comfort. It may be a tough conversation, yeah. but it has to be had. Mm. So how about when... I am going to get into good debt mm. and my spouse refuses. Mm. I want to get good debt mm. because you've already explained good debt. We now understand mm. it's going to grow us. Mm. It's going to bring more income. Mm. It will even service itself, give us profit, and we do a serious project that mm. will help the family get mm. to the next level. Mm. But my spouse is not seeing it from that angle. Mm. For him or her, if it is a wife, mm. or for her or if it is a husband, mm. for him where he grew up from, ah, Ah, mm. Debt, debt, debt. Mm -mm, mm -mm. It is absolute that mm. a borrower is a mm. slave yes. to the lender, so never yes. get into debt. Mm. So there, how do I navigate the again the healthy politics mm. of ensuring my spouse realizes that this is for our good? I think one of the blessings of uh, of marriage is. Mm. Usually we marry our opposite number in many things. <laughs> if one is a risk Beginning taker... Beginning from the skin color. Yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, yes. It is, it's things. a very interesting thing. So, and in money, it is the fact that usually in a family, one is a risk taker mm. and the other is the person who is risk yeah, averse. Yeah. Your is job there. is to just build a family risk appetite. And that means that everyone has to give a bit. Everyone has to give a bit. You will notice that there are people who will tell you, I will never take mm. debt. Now, if you are married to someone who believes that everything can be solved by debt, mm. then you are going to have to ask, why do they believe that way? Mm. Because they will say that, but how can we be able to develop fast enough unless we borrow? Mm. And they will be able to say that. And possibly that's the background which they are coming from. Mm. And really, they believe it. And your job is to say, but if we get there, won't mm. it make, make us <laughs> uncomfortable? But usually, you find that there is a sweet spot, in a sweet middle ground, mm -hmm. where you can say, all right, I am agreeable to this. And I, I, I give a good example. If, 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 if a person who has a salarized job yeah. is married to someone who is a business, an entrepreneur, business, an entrepreneur 
they, they have a very different perspective about they do. money. They do. Because the entrepreneur will say, you know what, I'll get in, I'll make one deal, mm -hmm. and that will take us through three months. Mm -hmm. The person who is salarized expects their salary every month. So when you say, I am doing this for the next four months, mm -hmm. uh, your, sp your spouse may not understand because it feels like you are causing insecurity in the family. Mm -hmm. But all this is really communication. Yeah. You need, first of all, understand that you have your own financial blueprint. Mm. which has been possibly painted by your oh, background. Yes, and yes, if and you yes. grew up in a family where debt was uh, uh, frowned upon and, uh, and, and that was the scenario, that, that you have that blueprint. Mm. But then your, your, your spouse could have grown up in a business family where uh, the father always <laughs> says, oh, the deal is there, then mm. we, you know, let's, I, risk I, yes, 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 get, profit let's get this. And, uh, and you need to mix it up. And possibly that's the reason God brought you together. Okay. So that you help each other mm. see a bit of the light in each side. All oh, right. Mm. Uh, le let me look at this other mm. side of the same conversation. Yes. Yes. So what about when my spouse mm. gets into debt, like the one you talked about mm. uh, about 30 minutes mm. ago, the one who gets into debt without talking with the family, mm. without telling the wife, mm. without telling the husband, they just get into debt. And unfortunately, the collateral they gave, mm. the security they put there, mm. is maybe a family property, mm. like land, like a house, like a car, uh, land title, etc. Mm. So when finally the rubber hits the road mm. and he or she can't pay the money, and then we see people coming to collect this collateral. Mm. For example, they are coming to take away the house. Mm. They are coming to lift the, the new car. They are coming to, to sell, to auction the piece of land that we were going to build mm. on or put our farmhouse. So when that happens, as a spouse who did not know, how do you advise me to respond in that kind of a, a stormy circumstance where I did not know anything about the loan, the debt my, my husband went into, but the collateral he put there is something we are supposed to use as a family. Mm. Now people have come to collect it. How, mm. What do you advise I should do in that, that moment? I think I think it's such a sad thing when yeah. such a thing happens. We have ha we have seen it happen, and sometimes it happens when you are alive, but it could also happen when you have passed away, because sometimes people discover about the debts their spouses took uh, after the burial, and they say, by the way, the house is mortgaged. <laughs> say, but this is all we are left with, and even the person who caused the problem has left. That's gone. Uh, now I think it's very one of the important things is if you are the spouse who took the loan. Mm -hmm. It is very important, even at that point, to sit with your partner and come clean. And having an apologetic approach to it mm -hmm. is a helpful thing. So I say, I made a mistake, and I'm sorry, and this is where we are at. Mm -hmm. Now, sometimes you may say, I'm not going to say it. It was my decision, and I made <laughs> it. But that doesn't create an environment where you can team up with your spouse again. Mm -hmm. Now, if I am your spouse, and you got into debt, I, I didn't know about it. There are two questions I have to ask myself. Mm -hmm. First of all, what exactly, who are we dealing with? Mm -hmm. So for example, if it's a bank, yeah. the bank which has come to collect the items is collecting the item from both of us. <laughs> and my fighting you doesn't help. <laughs> we better work together uh, to solve the so problem. So you need to understand that then both of the us, problem is solved, we fight uh, right at this together. moment, you know, sometimes when you find two close friends fighting each other, mm. then you try to separate them, then the first turn, <laughs> uh, they organize themselves, they deal with you, then, then after they, they continue. continue with their. Yeah. So you need to separate those two because it is a break of trust when your spouse doesn't come clean mm. on issues like this. It is a break of trust, and that's the truth. Mm. But in environments where such a thing happens, mm. you need to ask yourself, do we still have common ground where mm. we can face this challenge which we are facing? Okay. Because don't forget that someone, the bank can even bring a document for you to sign. Mm. And because you are fighting with this partner, you don't even tell them you have signed the what? Mm. The document. The, those, 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 so you those need to find common ground, common ground. be yes. together to solve the challenge. Exactly. And okay. there is legal help, for example. But you need to go to that legal help to, to, uh, together. If it's a marital home, for example, mm -hmm. there might be a bit of legal protection in, okay. that, in, that, in that case. Mm -hmm. If the loan was given, the wife was supposed to consent, she did not consent, though they are a bit there. So you want to go together and talk to Now, you are totally angry at your spouse, <laughs> but you need to find which common ground can mm -hmm. we have so that we walk through this. Now, it is not a painless process. Of course. It will cause a dent in your home 
and that pain may take time to heal, mm. but you need to get on to the path of that healing. Okay. Mm. So, if I got into this debt, mm. specifically because you've referred to it a number of times, specifically for investment purposes, mm. I am an entrepreneur, mm. so I have gotten into a debt to expand my business. Give me some words of wisdom. Mm. Uh, what should I do to make the best of it? Mm. So now, I've already understood there is a heavy responsibility on me. When I get into debt, mm. I am therefore getting into this debt consciously. Mm. I know what I'm doing mm. and it is a good debt. Mm. I want to expand the business. Mm. So what are some of the things that you can say I should you know, give attention to mm. so that I make the best out of my good debt? I think the if you are an entrepreneur, a yeah. business owner, and you have taken debt for an expansion, mm. you have to be at your highest discipline levels. Discipline. During that period. Discipline. Highest discipline levels. Discipline. It means discipline. that when you take a loan as a business owner, mm. the time to celebrate is after you have paid the loan. <laughs> Not, Not after you've gotten the, the money. <laughs> that you have received the loan. Yeah. Because that celebration, you know, sometimes an entrepreneur gets a loan, possibly mm. set up a maize, uh, a maize uh, processing Meeting facility. Mm. And uh, the first thing, they also change their vehicle. Yeah. Because, you know, the money is on your account. Mm. That period you need to be, because you are holding someone else's money. Yeah. I, I usually tell people that when you borrow money from the bank, you need to understand that the bank lends deposits. It means it is lending money. That belongs to someone else. That belongs to someone else. The bank is trusting you with that money. So that you both make a profit and you bring it back just in time. So that when their customer comes, they have the customer's money. Now, you need to understand that. So the discipline levels you need to be at and you need to also ensure that you are not borrowing. Mm. You are, you are not over indebted. And, mm -hmm. and, and what happens is that if you are going into a project, you need to ask yourself, do I also have a bit of skin in the game? Because sometimes okay. a, an entrepreneur borrows to a point where the whole facility is not even owned by them. Mm -hmm. Like you, you, you have only 5% in the facility, 95% is for the bank. Yeah. That is not a good thing. No. And even the bank will be careful to advance you money in those circumstances. So you need to ask yourself, have I opened? Because you know when you have debt, and, and you could look at this this way, if mm. I get my one million and I put it in a business mm -hmm. and I lose it, I'll be very sad. But I'll go and sleep at night. Mm. But because if nobody's I, going to come to hit no one me is going to hit money. No, no one's going to knock on my door. But if I lose bank money, it's a different case altogether. Yeah. And we know the economy in which I we have live. the pain of loss. I also have now the pain of having to repay hook or crook at all costs. Exactly. Exactly. Mm. So you need to understand that if you have borrowed, the discipline has to be high and you need to understand that you need to hedge yourself. And how yeah. do you hedge yourself? By taking just a bit of credit mm. and making sure you also have a bit of skin in the game. Okay. So discipline. Mm. The company secretary of Inspired Leaders International mm. one time taught us what discipline really means. Mm. He is on that uh, ILF, yes. the Inspired Leaders Forum. Mm. He t said that discipline is doing what you know you must do mm. when you know you must do it, mm. whether you feel like it or not. Exactly. That's discipline. Exactly. You do what you know you must do, mm. do it when you know you must do it, whether you feel like doing it at that moment or not. Or you don't. That's discipline. Exactly. So we need discipline to celebrate after repayment, not yes. after receiving the money. Yes. We need the skill to manage the money well and the project well. And we need to hedge ourselves. Exactly. Awesome. As we almost come to the close of this, mm. once I now realize that I am already in bad debt, now we are not talking mm. about the one in good debt. Mm. Help me quickly jump out. Maybe mm. one or two tips. I am, yeah. I am in the ditch. Mm. What do I do? Now, if you are in the unfortunate position of finding yourself in bad debt. Yeah. I went for parties. Uh, yes. Once. The moment you get to that point, the first thing is to accept your reality. Yes. To accept your reality. Don't live in denial that miraculously the, the loans <laughs> are going to go away. You need to get to a moment and say, you know what, I'm in this pit. I'm sick. And one of the things which I will encourage the listeners to do mm. is 
usually the toughest thing to do in personal finance is to get out of debt. Saving is simple. Uh, mm -hmm. Investing is simple. Getting out of debt, especially bad debt, is by far one of the most challenging things in personal finance. That means that you are going to need help. Mm -hmm. So if you acknowledge that I'm in bad debt, look out for help. Look out for a colleague in your mm -hmm. church mm -hmm. who, who is good with money and say, you know what, I'm in this fix. Mm -hmm. How can I be able to work out? There are a number of financial coaches around mm -hmm. who can be able to help you. But sit down and say, what debts have I taken? Mm -hmm. Some One of the methodologies which is recommended is by a gentleman called Dave Ramsey, quite a good yeah. speaker on yeah, this yeah, subject. Sure. So and, sure. and, and he says that you can use the debts noble. And he says in the debt snowball, what you do is to say that, first of all, list down mm -hmm. all your debts mm -hmm. from the smallest to the largest. Mm -hmm. And that means get a piece of paper and write, I took Samuel's 100,000. Mm -hmm. Take I, stock uh, of your debts. Uh, yes. So you take stock. You say, I have this money from the bank. Look at all of them. Then after you have looked at all of them, then attack the smallest one. <laughs> mm. Pay the minimum on all the rest and attack the smallest one. Mm. So if your smallest debt is 50,000 shillings, which you borrowed from somewhere, clear and it one. is the smallest, that one you say tomorrow I will clear. Because the moment you cross it off, you have started your journey of getting out of debt. Mm. You attack the next one, yeah. and then you cross it off, and then the process continues. Awesome. Mm. What are your parting shots, Ronald? S look into that camera mm. and speak to that man who has been watching, that woman who has been watching, just right there. Yeah, I think fri shorts. friends uh, who have been with us today, first of all, thank you for being here. Uh, I'll go back to where we began. Debt is a big responsibility, a tough responsibility. The Bible is clear uh, when it talks about debt that the borrower is slave to the land. And you need to understand that, that as you walk into debt, you need to understand the responsibility you are taking on. If you don't have to, avoid it. If there is an opportunity which you think that can be able to expand and you choose to take debt because of that opportunity, then you need to have the discipline to ensure that you do exactly what you promised you will do. But if you find yourself locked up in debt, find help, find help. And there are people within our communities who can help us, there are people within your church who could help you, find help and talk to them. And I'll finish with this. And. Uh, our father is faithful that even when we make mistakes he comes and he redeems us and it's important to prayerfully go to God and say you know what God I am in this pit and he can guide you on that journey he will show you the people who you need to talk to is it going to be painless getting out of debt it's such a painful process but it's a process you need to go through because the day you are debt free you can throw off those chains and say that I am not indebted to any man aside from the date of love. Wow. That is what I'll leave you with. Wow. I am tempted to say amen. Amen. That's great wisdom. For me, what I'm taking out of this is the first statement we talked about at the very beginning. That the best time to manage debt is before you get into it. And to me, that speaks about personal empowerment in these areas of finance. That you equip yourself, you empower yourself, you get ready. T. Hav Eker, the author of Secrets of a Millionaire Mind, talks about the, the financial blueprint, talks about the 17 wealth files, and talks about the, the financial mental capacity. To handle certain things especially in the areas of money build your mental capacity as regards to finances as regards to handling finances your brain your mind is like a computer whatever you've not put in there once you search you want to get it in there get onto a journey of financial literacy if it means getting books like some of these books uh, ability to produce wealth one of my books Blossom in your job and business. Books by Dave Ramsey, like he has recommended. T. Hav Eker, Barbara Katende, uh, James Abora, and so on and so forth. Get those books to equip yourself and get ready. Maybe you may want to get into financial literacy groups, like investment clubs, like circles, 
and any other group where they teach their members to be smarter, more intelligent and wiser concerning issues of money. The best time to manage debt is before you get into it. This has been the Inspired Family Leader Program with Samuel E. Bakutana, your host, talking about escaping the traps of debt. Until next time, live exemplarily, love authentically, and go and lead relationally.